Have you ever used drugs or have a family member, friend or so that has abused drugs? I know from personal experience as a teenager into my early 20s before I gave my life to the Lord, I played around with drugs, not hardcore, but enough to know what sniffing cocaine is like and smoking marijuana. So then were my two things. And of course, just drinking and partying and things like that. But I, uh, but many of us, and I've had uh, known people that's died from drug abuse and people that uh, have played with drugs all the way into their senior years and things. So many of us know. Reason why I'm talking about that, this is because many of you from personal experience, whether it's in your family or friends, I want to know what you think of what I'm getting ready to show you. Because we've talked about false prophet Timothy Dixon. And if for those of you that don't know Timothy Dixon, let me show you this quick clip of him real quick. Pride the Lord. I'll move to Washington, D.C. And I shall take, I shall take back the seats that's been stolen because of the outpouring, the harvest is truly plenteous. The harvest is plenteous. And that's him right there where he's more so, he always, uh, he, he falsely prophesies about Trump in office, uh, is always calling on the death angels, always some type of doom, uh, politics and all of this. And he's 100% wrong all the time. And he continues to go around, travels, have events, lay hands on people, be with Julie Green and many of the others, uh, Manuel Johnson, I mean, other false prophets and prophetesses, he's out with them. And here, I'm gonna show you this clip of him. I want uh, I want you to first see, because first, it starts off where he's talking about he saw Daniel. I mean, he, 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 I made a video not long ago where an angel, he claimed an angel came and talked to him and, and told him some things and walked out and stop so let, look at this real quick and then we're going to continue everybody praise the lord this is brother timothy dixon coming to you today thank you jesus i've been been in a lot of prayer and uh the things that i've saw i want to share with you over the series of this next next few days here today I'm going to start with a dream that I had I was standing in in a firmament a place caught up in the in the heavens and I then I seen Daniel the prophet standing on a cloud looking downward and I knew that he was seeing something but also knew that I was seeing something of past gone by through the eyes of Daniel and as you can see right there he's talking about Daniel the prophet Daniel that's in our scriptures that he had this dream and then all of these things and he's going on about that. It's always this uh, stuff where you're there. Uh, these false prophets where they claim to have, you know, come face to face with Jesus. Uh, they're seeing other prophets and, and apostles or so in dreams and seeing uh, and they're having discussions and and me, some of them have been up in heaven roaming around and, the th and, 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 and down in hell and all of this stuff that doesn't line up with the scriptures. But why I'm, what I'm getting ready to show you here next is because when you, when you look at his bio there on his channel and he talks about where he overcame drug and alcohol abuse. And I think, because I've looked, I've looked at him, I've always thought that maybe something's off with him over the last three to four years now and stuff. But I've watched him and I've wondering like, you know what, is he back on something? Is he doing something? Is he using something? Something's off. So for those of you, let me know what you think. Take a look right here 
And look, and I'll set it up for you because he's going to continue talking. And he's going to start drinking. He's it's like he's got cotton mouth. And he's, you know, he's licking. And, 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 and he's done that before. Let his licking and like his mouth is really cotton mouth. But his eyes, look at his eyes. And observe his eyes and see it's like that, uh, what we call uh, uh, in the uh, world when I used to be out there in the streets and all, they call it spooked. S-P-O-O-K-E-D, spooked or, or geeked, geeked out or, 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 or uh, fiending or whatever. It, it, it's, that's what he looks like because he's all looking around and he's got this particular look and stuff. And then he's, and, and, and I'll, you'll see part of it there where he's picking something out of his mouth. He's like picking and touching all of the stuff that you doing when you tweaking. That's another street word that for them, you know, when people that are high on something, tweaking. Fiending, all kinds of little things. Take a look and let me know what you think. And I walked over to where Daniel was. And he was looking at the prophecy of his in Daniel 7. Or the dream, rather. His dream definitely became prophecy. And thus saith the Lord, for we're living in that day. You've got people and preachers and different people that see things totally different when it comes to the end of time. Well, the Lord's told me we're living in Daniel right now. So I'm going to believe what the Lord told me and not religion. And what he was looking at was there in Daniel 7, it said that the four winds of the heavens strove upon the great sea. And the four. And as you can see, you see what I'm talking about? Something's not, I just, I saw that. And what, what it did was though, when I saw this particular video and I saw that, and I'm not, and he's got a video that he made after this and he still looks like something's going on. I got sad, you know, because a lot of people would accuse me of uh, being, you know, hostile because I call out false prophets and teachers and all of them. And that I, you know, I call out the people and that there's no love in my heart. You know, I do it because I love the people. I love this love people and I don't want to see people be destroyed and destroy themselves from setting under a false teacher. And setting under somebody that's teaching things and leading them astray. It tears me apart, breaks my heart, it makes me angry, and, and it and it hurts. And I, you know, and it doesn't matter how bad somebody is. Um, I've always just had a grieving uh, you know, when I see people, whether you know that yeah, they may be bad, but I, I just look at them and say, you know, they have a soul. The Lord still loves them and desires that they repent and get right. And, and I desire that these people get right. So when I'm out here and I'm voicing and I'm vocal and things like that, it's because I care. It's because I don't want to see people destroyed. It's because I want to let people know what's going on. Because I get the emails from time to time from people that share with me that they didn't even know that some of the people that they listen to are false teachers. That some of these people that they've been following, that they're false. They had no clue. And then they thank me and say, hey, man, I, you know, I, I had to repent and things. So I don't care if it's one person out of all the time I started this channel. You know what? That's one person that has got back in right standing with the Lord. And that's all that matters. So people could try to shut me down and, and tell me to hush up and all of these. And, and, and don't call out the people and don't do that. It's, you know, it's all it. No, it, it, it's got to be done. We have to. You have to. How else are you going to know? How is he going to know if you're a sinner and, and, and without sin being, and that's an, another whole issue, not being preached behind pulpits and things. You got, you got to have, preach sin. And that's the thing. People don't want to talk about sin anymore. They are scared. They're scared because they don't want to lose members. They don't want to lose members on their uh, uh, subscribers on channels and all of that. They don't want to do none of it. And you have to talk about things. I've been doing it for a long time, talking about things that people don't, that, that, that they want to sweep under the rug. 
and the special treat I, I, I'm going to tell you now, I'm going to make available. They're on cassette tape. So for those of you, I'm telling my age, cassette tapes and DVD. I'm going to make some of this messages available. Maybe I'll do a live stream or something for starters and just have it playing in the background or something like that. Because I have to, I used to, you know, convert it over to an MP3 file, so audio file and all of that. That's a lot of work. There's a whole lot of work doing it. It's enough work with the uh, YouTube channel and things. Trying to run it, you, it's a lot of work. And those of you that know that run the channels, it's a whole lot of work. But I'm, I want to make it available. So you, I want you to hear me when I'm in my 20s, how I, I'm the same as I was uh, 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 back then. Nothing's changed, calling out things. But you know, my pastor, he was one like that. He told me to always, with his word was walk heavy, is what he would say. Basically, if you have to step on toes, so what? Long as you declare and thus say, if the Lord, if he's told you that, speak it. Say it boldly. And in the case here of Timothy Dixon, it's sad. Because I pray that he's not messing with stuff again. Because when you get delivered from things and the Lord truly delivered him or, or whatever, uh, I, I don't want to see nobody go back to that. But something's off. And if it's not drugs, it's just he's something's off altogether. Because when you're claiming you're seeing uh, the prophets and, and, and the people within the script, you're not seeing these things. This is not, that's not scripture. You're not seeing all of this stuff. You're, you're seeing uh, false visions. The devil can imitate a lot of things too. So that's a whole nother message in itself. But you're, you're not seeing that. Something's off. Something's off with him. Something's off when you consistently have been called out about lying with your prophecies and things like that. And you continue to move forward with it. And you continue to go around and tour. You continue to act like you're a preacher and, and all of these things. And it's sad. And he needs prayer. He needs prayer. They are, All we can do is pray because you can talk and all of that. But you know, it's somebody, maybe somebody out there that's come across this message that has uh, that listens to him. And, they, and maybe they're concerned. Maybe we get the prayers up. And maybe they're just been wondering, like, is this guy a man of God or what? And they come across the messages like mine and the many others that are out there that expose them. And then it begins, the Holy Spirit begins to work on them and convict them. And they realize that they've been doing something wrong. That's all it is. I'm just a little guy. I don't have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. But I do have declaration of thus saith the Lord. Because I know that the Lord is with me and the Spirit of God is going before me. And he will work on these people behind the scenes. Whether they get angry when they hear the message or not. It's just a little bit of sprinkling of the water and someone else may come along and then someone else may have to come along, but the Lord will continue to do the work and I have faith in that. So I'm going to pray for Timothy Dixon. You pray for him. We'll continue to pray for each other. We'll pray for anybody that is continuing to listen to these false messengers out there. Continue to give God the glory. Talk about issues the church run away from. Punch Satan right in between the chops with his lying butt. <laughs> and, and, and we'll continue to go forward. If you're new, consider subscribing. Hit like, coming along for the journey. My name is Maurice Brax Braxton. Evangelism for God is a channel. So until the next time, my friends, take care. God bless.